Tony, where are we at, man? Hey, we came to the tire line. <laughs> Brill and Chippy. Let's go. Hello? I want to be a Manchi boy. Boys on location edition. <laughs> the edition in which we're on location. My hands are burning because I just used some of Tony's hand salmonimatizer. <laughs> the Satanizer. <laughs> <laughs> and where did we go? Where did we go? Where did we go? We're still there. <laughs> oh, where? Dire where? Lion food truck. At where? At uh, Pint Nine Brewing Company? Yeah. So we're totally and, uh, on location. I wore my fan hat. Eat the lion. I wore my fan hat. Eat the lion. And I brought the lion. He's not lion. <laughs> He's not lion. So yeah, this is cool. This is a different setup. Look at all this stuff, man. Two boxes of food. 69. Aaron, you hold down the fort. I got. I brought some sauces of my own. Is this guy for real? Brought sauces of his own to a food truck? Two mayo packs from my own house. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little peek with my GoPro. I don't wanna wait any longer. Oh. Hellman's. Bring out the best. Mayo is okay. I'll, I'll forgive mayo. That's right. I got my Hellman's mayo. Thank you. What do we get? We got. I got. Uh, we got fish and chips, and we got the uh, bacon. What? It? The bacon buddy. Buddy. Bacon buddy. I don't even know what that is. I'm we're gonna, gonna find open. out. Bombs away. Okay, folks. We're opening. Whoa, we're opening. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho. Hello, glory day. How are that you? Oh, looks I'm good. Awesome. Nice to see you. <gasps> And me and Aaron got the same thing. So on his munch cam, you'll see what I'm munching. Ooh. Oh, there's the bacon butt. Hey. Buddy. So here we have a two piece fish and chips. And we have the bacon butty. Buddy. Butty. <laughs> and on the inside, you got the brown sauce they were talking about and a bunch of uh, bacon. 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 Oh, okay. I'm about to dive in on the crispy fish. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Me. okay, I'm waiting. Tell me when you're ready to dive in. I'm ready to dive in. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Mmm. Oh my God. Excellent! Here's one of my favorite parts. Opening all my ketchups, dumping it onto my platter. We left ketchup home alone. I love how that like hit me like a minute later. <laughs> <laughs> squishy, Sweet squishy, squishy. Packets. So glad I brought the Hellman's. Everyone loves the taste of Hellman's. Not me. There's quite a few people out here tailgating, keeping their distance, I hope, from everybody. We're definitely keeping our distance. Me and Aaron are a good probably eight to 10 feet away from each other. Yep. Um, we're about 50 feet away from anybody else. Nobody here but us munchy boys. Ooh, I got all my sauces set and I'm ready to engulge. In and I almost said indulge, engulge. I don't know why, but. I'm ready to uh, dive in. Ooh. Enjoy your indulgence. Indulge your diving in. Mm. Oh, man. I wish I would have grabbed some malt vinegar, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm filled with piss and vinegar. That was my own fault once I dive into these fries. Ooh. Okay. Curry fry, folks. Curry fry. Here we go. Mm. I think they called their seasoning the lion salt. The lion salt. Mm hmm. And they're not lying. <laughs> I'm gonna have a running tally for how many times we make lion puns. <laughs> I like variety, so I think I'm gonna hop to the bacon buddy to like, so I can keep popping back and forth. Mm -hmm. mm. I gotta rip apart the bacon. Bacon. Oh man, the sauce, the bacon. Okay, first uh, bacon buddy bite. Mm-hmm. Buddy. That is quite a bacony sandwich. I mean, is it literally like a bacon sandwich? Uh huh. If you like bacon, you're gonna love it. With their special brown sauce. I wonder what the brown is. Could be a uh, bacon juice. Mm-hmm. I think it might be. I feel like we're not quite as animated, you know, in, uh, here in, in real life. <laughs> I think it's I think it's because we have, like, a crowd of people, like, awkwardly around us, so we're kind of looking around like, we're zany, but we don't want to be too zany. We're zany to the max. What am I talking about? We can be zany. We can be zany as we want to be. We're the Munchie Boys. Oh, my God. Are you the Munchie Boys? Munchie boys, zany as they want to be. I love the munchie boys. I'm just a 
fangirl. Oh man, this is grand. We're on location, folks. What's a British theme that we could talk about? Maybe that the Queen addressed the country. How about the um, Queen wearing that chroma key green? She wore it again on her address. Did she? So what are people putting on her address? <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing people put all different stuff on there from this time. Different shirts, like metal shirts and stuff like that. Oh man, since I didn't have the uh, since I didn't have the malt vinegar, I put on my mayo. The rich, creamy taste of Hellman's. After we munch, me and Aaron might go into Pint Nine and grab a beer. Ooh. I mean, not go in. We're not going to stay in. I mean, we're already here, right? We're going to procure a beer, and we're not saying that we're going to open it, but I'm sure it's going to be good. So what? So kind what, of, what? What kind of what? 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 I was just going to say what's what's new, but you were going to ask me something. What goes on in the Pint Nine? Kind of reminds me of a Plan Nine from Outer Space. You see, your stupid minds. Stupid, stupid. So it is a brewing company. Okay. And that's all I know. Is it so far from your imagination? Wow. I've been here before. I think I've gotten beer there. Okay. I remember it being good. Ooh, that's good. But I'm excited to try more. So how's this week in treating you so far? Been surprisingly busy. Nice. What you been doing? I collect spores, molds, and fungus. I mean, that's okay. Very handy, I can tell. Oh man, I gotta get some picks. I forgot to snap a little pick. Good thing I didn't eat it all. I haven't gotten into the bacon buddy yet. Here's my fish and chip pick. <laughs> Women are never offended by me because I only send fish and chip pick. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. <laughs> Got my bacon buddy pick. Buddy. This is a beautiful thing, folks. We're just out here chilling. We're not too riled up or anything, right? Tony's always sliding into my DMs. My duty to munch. <laughs> duty. <laughs> duty free. Mm. Let the munchy be. So I think the Dire Lion is Omaha's only premier British food place. The Dire Lion Grill and Chippy is Omaha's premier British food cart, boasting the best fish and chips this side of the pond. Do you know of any other place that's considered just British food? Um, I, 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 I can't recall at the moment. I feel like there was a, there was that English tea place on, in Dundee, right, for a while? Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, there's a few, like, brew pubby kind of places, but I don't think anybody's, to my knowledge, is all that uh, authentically, hey, there's a sticker! Go fish! Oh, 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 oh. Go fish! So I forgot if you've been here before. I have not, actually. This is my oh. first time. This is my first dire lion. Nice. I was in dire straits yeah, buddy. to be trying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That dire lion. I'm actually weirdly surprised that you haven't been here before. I know. But I think it's kind of hard to find. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Like, places that travel or pop up in different locations. I don't really follow to see where they're going to be, so I never really catch them. And I've known about them from the beginning because I'm friends with Isaiah and Dakota. Ah. Mm -hmm. That sounds like some uh, like a conflict of interest then. <laughs> However, and it's worth pointing out this video is in no way sponsored by or endorsed by them. They just happen to be cool people and friends and we're just happen to... Uh, Yep. Enjoy a nice uh, spring day sitting out, you know, tailgating and munching away. I mean, am I biased? No, but I do love it. He's biased. <laughs> biased some more efficient chips. I knew I should have brought another mayo packet. You always use that other mayonnaise. I haven't got it cut into my bacon buddy at all, though. This is completely untouched fresh. by me, except for the time I touched it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite out of this. Bacon Buddy, Munch Cam 5000. First bite of the Bacon Buddy for Aaron. All right, let's see how awkward I can make this first bite here, huh? Ooh, Ooh. that looked like a good bite. Whoa. That's good. Mm. Wow, that's really good. Oh, man. I'm loving that fish. Now, so what'd you think about the fish and chips? I dug it. Nice. I love that people are like, oh, here's where we get into some, like, you know, thorough fish and chip, uh, you know, <laughs> discussion. And I just say I love it. Um, 
yesterday my potato slicer arrived, so I've been making French fries all day long. Oh, like pan fried or just oven baked or what? Air fried. Got an air fryer. Ooh. So no oil? No oil. Ooh. But um, I was digging through my spice rack and I found uh, some paprika and some garlic salt. Now, I've never purchased paprika or garlic salt in my life, so how they get in my cupboard, I don't know. Were they dried out and caking? Absolutely. <laughs> Did I put them on my fries? Absolutely. Was it good? Did they, uh, like, half of the bottle fall out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, man, they were good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, from now on, I'm living off of, a uh, air-fried french fries. Air-fried french fried potatoes. I seriously love that you're a munchie boy, but when it comes to eating at home, you, like, keep it simple and weird. Like, you don't go get a bunch of, like, stuff. Oh, I would, but... <laughs> I'd have to leave the house, and I might get the, <laughs> get the Rona. You don't want to do that. You don't want to have to go to Trader Joe's like me. I will swing through Fettos again sometimes. They're always uh, happy to see me, and I'm happy to see them because that means I'm going to eat Fettos. You're just using them for the food? Tony, when you put it like that, it sounds all dirty. <laughs> it's more than just food. I give them money, and they give me... Munchie. Munchie. It's money for munchie. <laughs> that sounds like a trade. It's a perfect trade. Look at all the bacon in this bacon, buddy. Now, at first I thought, well, is it like a BLT minus the L and the T? But no, it's more like B with extra B and more B. Bees! Allergic to bees? Me too. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Crazy. <laughs> so many cameras. Cut to camera three. Oh, this is so lovely. I've been so silent because it's so gray. Mm. I'm just enjoying. How about you, Tony, Tony? Tony? I'm food toying. What have you been up to? Me and Whitney have just been hanging out at home like we're supposed to, cooking, eating. We were live streaming with some friends yesterday for hours, um, drinking. I had some wine last night, some whiskey. That was fun. Okay. What else? I don't know. Nothing much. Just, just sitting around. Okay, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Uh, Tony? Is Tony the one that tells you things? I better remove my hat to make room for... You're already? I'm on my king bite. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Mmm. 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 Oh. I saved a bacon buddy for my king bite, and it is oh so delicious. I should make this entire half of the bacon buddy my king bite. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but they use this newspaper print for the wrappings and it says stuff like delicious fish and chips. Yeah. Mm. And that's an important factor here, okay, folks? It is. And if you don't know that, you don't know nothing, okay? You don't know diddly. You should get them to send you a photo of a, of a one of these untainted by, uh, by, by food. Oh, yeah. And we'll, cool. we'll put it up on the screen right now. I love making video direction that we have no intention to follow. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> Did anybody catch the uh, phone number at the bottom of the screen in, in our last episode? Call the number at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> it wasn't even a number. I mean, there were numbers, but like you said in the thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's not a number. But... Do you know where that number came from? I'm guessing you referenced something. Oh, yeah. Sanitizer. I'll give you a hint. Chris Farley. David Spade. Oh. Ryan Dennehy. Son, that's for me. Tommy Boy something. Tommy Boy. Mm -hmm. But what's the number? Two, four, niner. I Did I catch a niner, niner in there? there? What are you, calling from a walkie-talkie? Walkie -talkie? No. <laughs> oh, your napkin's about to blow away. Woo! Capture it. No, it's safe. It's got a... Oh, okay. I didn't notice there was something holding it. We're just having a nice day out here, tailgating, butt to butt with our cars. Mm -hmm. What? What? Uh, I can see the uh, Dire Lion truck from here. That beautiful red trailer with that beautiful uh, Union Jack flag. Isn't that what they call it? We took a selfie with the flag behind us. I don't know. It's just a peaceful night, you know. Feels good out. Got to get uh, some of that pint nine beer and just enjoy. I love Aaron's setup. Yeah, you need to get one of these little boom things here. I know that that literally like saved you. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. Where's the recorder? Oh, in the van. Mm -hmm. yeah. I set up. I have to take a picture of this. This is pretty, pretty weird. Luckily, it worked. Whoa! Look at this. 
Here he goes. This is my king bite. All right. All right. Ah. Uh, oh. Mmm. Oh. 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 Whoa. That looks so good. Oh, I'm jealous. Oh, wait, I had that too. Mmm. Mmm. How lovely mm. is it? How lovely is it? Can you just count the ways? Three. The bacon is nice and thick cut and very tender. It's not like a hard, crispy, you know, it's, it's just it's just. Amazing. It's not like they just went and got like Hillshire Farm, Hillshire Farms. Or it could anything. be lion. I, I, I don't know. Hillshire? They, are they, can, they, can they make lion? Can they cook lion up into food? Great F meat. I thought that is what they did. That would be awfully dire. I mean, I don't know. If that were the case. <laughs> we haven't been to good lion puns in a while. Should you get out your little friend? Tony, the imaginary voice in my head. Who's Tony? Could I see Tony? Tony says imaginary friend. <laughs> Red rum. <laughs> that was a Mountain Dew Zero Sugar reference right there. He's still hoping on that sponsorship, folks. You'd be more likely to get a cease and desist. Consider me the cease and desister. <laughs> Call me the resistor. Resistance is futile. <laughs> Quite dainty. Hey, look! It's a dire lion! Hello, folks. I'm trying to encourage you to get fish and chips and maybe a little bacon buddy. Bacon buddy. But after that, maybe uh, try something else. Come back. Come back now, you here. Now cut to all the people looking at us like we're awkward <laughs> in the parking lot. Uh, did they just do that? Strange things are afoot. I think that's the Munchy Boys. <laughs> or is this that self-conscious thing where literally like nobody's looking, but I just sense like awkwardness, but that's yeah. just our self-consciousness. Well, mine, like, are people thinking we're awkward? No, we're not. <laughs> what, me worry? I mean, what? Just because just cause I'm being myself, huh? Hey, man. I wear my hat backwards, man. You can be yourself, man. <laughs> oh, man. How are we going to do our song this time? Um, well, I don't know. We're, I mean, we, we, uh... You know what would be funny? Oh, we talked about doing the British track. British, British pop. 60s or 70s British tra pop track. Yeah. So I think this might, folks, might have to be, this folks might have to be, <laughs> I keep saying folks. <laughs> This folks might have to be folks. This folks might have to be a song <laughs> called Folk. We might have to produce this track. Oh, let's What if do we it. did a little like 20 second production? Okay. I send you those beautiful British pop vocals. You should do that, yes. Maybe you use like a harpsichord emulator or something. Uh, how about like, the Mellotron? A Mellotron. Yeah, Mellotron. The Beatles use a Mellotron. Oh, okay. 60s instrument. Okay. King Crimson used a Mellotron. It's done. Forerunner of the synthesizer. And you know what we're going to talk about on that? on that song? What's well, that? we always do. Try to take over the world. We're gonna talk about Dire, dire lion? lion. Dire Lion food. Maybe get some um, Lion puppets, maybe get some Pint Nine in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. And play the track now. Now. was absolutely lovely. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> See you in London. <laughs> Episode 9. Episode 9. Episode 9. Episode 9.